The word do not. I ain't seen nothing in that scripture that told lie yet. He <laughs> said, but if you seek me first, the kingdom, kingdom of, of God, God and my righteousness, and I mean, all of my ways of doing things, mm -hmm. that other stuff going to be added. Praise God. Everything that you're praying for, him pray. now according to the will, because you know, sometimes we pray stuff. You be like, come on, God. Be like, come on now. Come on. Come on, Shanae. You know you don't need Shaniqua's husband. Leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. Leave it alone. So we got to learn in the season, you know, and what God um, imparted in me was not only to pray the word, but know what you want when you pray. Because mm -hmm. you don't believe. You know, the thing is, we, we have more stuff. You know how we say we want it? And then when God releases it, we be like, oh, is that God? And then we don't know what to do with it. Well, if I may interject, mm -hmm. this is what I've, I've been meditating on. Mm -hmm. We must pray the will of, of God. God. Mm -hmm. And let's just be honest. Everybody wants to be a star. Mm -hmm. That's why I like that song. Mm -hmm. Everybody really wants to be a star. Mm -hmm. God said, I'll make your name That's great. great. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. That means once you do my will and wait a minute and give me the glory. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think everybody wants the glory. And God said, I would not give my glory to another. Mm. And so now we got, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I said something about, I was listening to when we was driving back, mm -hmm. one of your um, CDs, and it's very, very powerful. Back to Basics. Mm -hmm. I was really listening. Wow. And here's the thing. That's where God wants this body of Christ now. We have to come back to basics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because guess what he said? Your gift will make, make room, room for, for you. you. I don't need your mouth. I don't need you to try to hook up with people. I don't mm -hmm. need your connections. I don't need you to lie or prophet lie. You don't hear what uh -oh, I'm saying. Yes, I don't need you yes, to do yes. anything. Just be still and be mindful. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. And know that I'm God because a lot of times we get ahead of God. And then, too, what I'm learning, um, Apostle, is that we want stuff and we desire stuff and then we commit God to it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise and, God. And, and it's not even in God's will or purpose or plan for our life, but because our flesh want it. Mm -hmm. Oh, God said, God, shut up and sit down. You said that. That's your desire. That's, <laughs> that's why you're going through all that hell with it. And, and, and you know what? I tell you what, it was so crazy. Um, I just reposted something that I did two years ago. And mm -hmm. when you get a chance, I need you to go back and look at it. It says that you will make mistakes, but you're still called. Wow. I listened to it, and this was from two years ago. This is prevalent in my life today. Mm. I re-listened to it, and I was just sitting back like, Oh, that's good because guess what? You're going to make mistakes, but you still call. Mm -hmm. But learn from your mistakes. You say, God, you, we're supposed to inquire of the Lord early mm -hmm. in the morning. Lord, what do I do? And, and sometimes it's not with what you do. Sometimes it's how you do it. it. It may be to say a word. It may be to be quiet. It may be to move in this way or that way. And so I think we just got to start doing like the tabernacle days. Mm -hmm. When God move, we move. When God say, when God don't move, guess what? We don't move. That's right. Hallelujah. That's so true. That is so true because we get ahead of God. We really do. And then when we do that, then we, you know, when, when we're going through stuff, mm -hmm. we, then we're trying to figure, Lord, what's going on? Why, why is all this happening? Because the Lord has not willed that. For your life in this season. That's what's going on. Praise God. Praise That's God. What's going on. And, and I was thinking about something else. We sh we met uh, as our chef Didi mm -hmm. doing an event. But look how God brought us together in fellowship. Amen. I was thinking about that this morning. How you were a speaker at the conference. was very powerful. Everybody was still talking about it. Um, You gave that now word. And that's what God is doing. He's doing something now, not mm -hmm. later. Everybody yeah. say mm -hmm. they prophesying, but they don't understand. He's already doing it's it. But now done. it's coming to pass mm -hmm. now. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I caught that woman of God. I was Amen. listening. Amen. I know because I, I multitask, like, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm listening. You know, <laughs> I, I have to bless the Lord for you because a powerful vision... And, and the anointing that rests on your life, um, you hold classes online. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. To folk from all over the world. Yes, ma'am. And on Monday night, they came from all over the world, from Hawaii, California, Mississippi, everywhere, to be a part of 2020 vision of God. Let's talk about that because God gave you that vision. Praise God. And, and, and to see how everything unfolded, to see how the lives were changed, transformed. 50 people get, um, get uh, baptized. Yes, ma'am. Come mm -hmm. on. Now, that's revival. Yes, ma'am. That's revival. Yes. Let's talk about that. You know, at first... Um, when God tells me to give conferences, I say, okay, God, mm -hmm. because I already know it's going to be warfare. But this is what he's saying in this hour. He said, I don't need good preaching. I don't need all the good teaching. He said, but I do need people reaching. Mm. My people are hurting, healing, and delivering. So when you spoke that now word, and, and that's what you were doing when you were in the room, mm -hmm. everything co coincided with 
the conference, the vision of God. Mm -hmm. What God was saying is, I want y'all to see what I see. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to heal my people. It is time for people to be healed and delivered. I don't care what your gift is, mm -hmm. but if you can't function because mm -hmm. you, you're not healed and delivered, then the gift is what? Hallelujah. It's, it's not. Really, it's exactly. not. And then when you got an all against your brother, the Bible tells you leave that daughter. What good is your gift if you got issues with your brother? Praise God, praise God, you know? praise God. That is just so, 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 so. So, so basically the vision is to bring everybody together. Mm -hmm. No one's trying to be famous or elaborate. Mm -hmm. Sister, you're hurting. Brother, you're hurting. Let me touch you, because mm -hmm. one touch from God. Yes. Not Deanna. You don't need me. We, right. And that's another thing. We need to stop giving conferences with flesh. Mm. God, God. Just take me mm -hmm. and use me for your glory. Mm -hmm. Let them see you, God. Hello, vision, mm -hmm. vision. Seeing God. That's what came out of that. Hallelujah. And, and, and you know, a Hallelujah. lot of times conferences are so much pageantry, so much <laughs> protocol. But this was just so much word. You know what? And I did that on purpose. Yes. God said, I don't want no singing. Mm -hmm. I don't want no dancing. Mm -hmm. I want teaching as far as actually training. That's the mm -hmm. word he used, training. training. Mm -hmm. He said training because when they go home, if they if they mm -hmm. came and they leave the same, then it was for nothing. We, mm -hmm. just, had a, we just had a fellowship. We could have just had some food and, mm -hmm. you know, some fun and fellowship. But he said, they can't leave the same because mm -hmm. they came all the way for a touch, mm -hmm. a word. And, and sometimes it's just a word. And to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you what a lot of people said, too, mm -hmm. that we were we were, um, were touched, mm -hmm. meaning that we allowed them to touch us. They touchable, you don't touchable, see that. touchable, yeah. You mm -hmm. hug people. I hug people. Mm -hmm. Some of them, that's all they needed, and they mm -hmm. just broke down. I saw how they, one girl, when you hugged her, how she just started that's all they needed. Mm -hmm. I care. And that's a stranger. I care. But they felt God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I just thank God again for the vision that he's imparting you for this time. Now, not only is you cooking and not only you praying, preaching, and prophesying, <laughs> but you're singing too. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm actually starting back my um, gospel career. Mm -hmm. I started actually in 2003 mm -hmm. in California. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, um, I had when. I won Best Gospel Performer in the Bay Area and Los Angeles because that's what I was doing. I mean, I was, let me, hold, hold on, let me, let me say this, because you made me think about mm -hmm. it. I'm not an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm a minister. You're a minister of music. So, uh, and so when I do it, I'm not trying to be the best singer, mm -hmm. but I am trying to touch your spirit and your soul. Mm -hmm. and, and I do what, what I've been through, my pain, mm -hmm. so it can turn into purpose. Mm -hmm. That's who I am as a singer, a psalmist. I'm not trying to be the best. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to reach somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's all. So, yes, ma'am. Amen. Yes, ma'am. So, everybody want to be a superstar. Let's talk about that. You know that. it's true. <laughs> yeah. Everybody <laughs> want their 10 minutes of fame, ain't it? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the inspiration of the song. Um, basically, it was about me. Mm -hmm. When I got to California, God had um, started blessing me to cater to Stevie Wonder and everything. And I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know what happened. I happened. I stopped going to church. I started getting in where I fit in. I started making a lot of money. I started talking crazy to people. I told one guy, I'll never forget, I had a black car. You know what the black car is. Yeah. I said, I, I said, I'll buy you. I said, you're right not now. even working that. And <laughs> I said, oh, oh you, who do you think you are? Are you a star? Mm -hmm. You don't hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So everything that we do mm -hmm. are inspired by what we walk through. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I said, God, that's real. So I took off. They used to call me Hollywood. People don't know it. Girl, I had these wigs looking like Diana Washington. And I thought I was. Too. I transformed on you, girl. I transformed on you real quick. So, and, how you doing, shit? How you doing, Apostle? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> and and they, my nickname was Hollywood. Okay. I said, so God is so real. And so, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. he gave me a dream. And he said, Deanna, you could have this or that. And the dream scared me. I said, I don't want to sell my soul for fame mm -hmm. or... Glamour. And people do it every day. And they do it. And so I wanted to go into the studio and I wanted to make something that would not penetrate just the older, but the younger, because that's who's doing it. Mm -hmm. They're after our children. I, oh, yes. I mean, because to be honest with you, they got most of the older mm -hmm. people that they have. Mm -hmm. Not to say they can't be redeemed. Not right. come on somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But so I wanted to touch mm -hmm. everybody. And that's why that's the only rap one I actually did. And then let me tell you how God worked. He said, and that's going to be your only one. <laughs> So that's history right there. It's history, y'all. Well, Sister Deborah, if you're listening, Sister Deborah got a prophecy. Um, I can't remember what, what artist it mm -hmm. was and told her. Oh, it was from Uncle Reese. Mm -hmm. And Uncle Reese told Sister Deborah to learn a rap every week mm -hmm. and share it with the audience. Go slap outside your comfort zone. And she ain't did it yet. 
Oh, wow. And I said, that was very prolific because God is going to use that. But the, the man of God told her, so you need to learn. Now, she don't rap. Deborah's like this. I'm calm. I'm cool. And Jesus is Lord. <laughs> right? <laughs> so to hear Deborah rap, I'm waiting to hear that. So maybe you can give her a few pointers, you know, because we got to give her, get her in the groove of things. And, and, and to be honest with you, what people don't understand even us speaking, mm -hmm. come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. God says there's nothing like in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. You're always ministering. Oh, come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you talk. So so rapping, all you're doing is going a little bit faster. faster. And maybe you kind of like rhyming. Living with it, rhythm. But you're telling a story. That's it. So, so that's how you come to her. Say, tell a story. Okay. What's your story today? Sister come on, somebody. Sister Deborah, when you get here today at 12 o'clock, <laughs> I need to hear a story and a form of rap with some rhythm. <laughs> Hey, buddy, praise don't go anywhere. We come back. Apostle Deanna Dixon with her latest. Everybody wants to be a star right here on Shatonda Kelly's show. Good morning to you.